Welcome everyone. In this video, I am going to differentiate between the axial and equatorial hydrogens of the cyclohexane molecule. Also, the relationship between the cis and the trans in the different hydrogens in the cyclohexane molecule. First, let us see the cyclohexane molecule. This is the chair form of the cyclohexane molecule that is viewed from the top. Each carbon atom of the cyclohexane molecule have two hydrogens. One is equatorial and one is the axial. Also, in the two hydrogens, one is pointing downwards and one is pointing upwards. The upward pointing hydrogen can either be vertically upwards or in a slightly horizontal fashion. This is the same cyclohexane molecule that is viewed from the side so that the chair conformation is visible. As I already said, each carbon atom contains two hydrogens, one is pointing upwards and one is pointing in downward direction. In this picture, you can clearly see that these blue hydrogens are pointing in the upward direction and all the red hydrogens are pointing in the downward directions okay and you can see that all the upward pointing hydrogens are not vertically upward direction these three hydrogens are alternate in fashion and these are facing upwards in vertically upward fashion okay and the remaining three are pointing upward direction but in a slightly horizontal fashion okay so these three hydrogens are called axial hydrogens because these three hydrogens are pointing vertically upwards so these are called axial hydrogens these upward pointing hydrogens are in the alternate carbon atoms okay these are the alternate carbon atoms and these three hydrogen atoms also pointing in upward direction but in a slightly horizontal fashion okay so these are called equatorial hydrogens these three equatorial hydrogens are also present in the alternate carbon atoms. Now come back to the original chair form of the cyclohexane. Okay, the same applicable to the downward pointing hydrogens also. There are three hydrogens pointing in downward direction, but these three are in the vertically downward fashion, and three hydrogens are pointing in downward direction, but in a slightly horizontal fashion. Okay. Among the six hydrogens that are pointing down, these three are pointing in vertically downward fashion. So these are called axial hydrogens. So there are six axial hydrogens. Among the six axial hydrogens, three axial hydrogens are pointing vertically upwards and three axial hydrogens are pointing vertically downwards. And these three hydrogens are also pointing in downward direction, but in the slightly horizontal fashion. So there are six equatorial hydrogens. Among the six equatorial hydrogens, three equatorial hydrogens are pointing in slightly upward fashion and three equatorial hydrogens are pointing in slightly downward fashion. So you can see this whole molecule. Among them, one equatorial hydrogen will be pointing slightly downwards and one axial hydrogen will be pointing vertically upwards. In the next carbon atom, you can see this equatorial hydrogen is pointing slightly upwards and the axial hydrogen is pointing vertically downwards. Like this, this pattern repeats in this uh, six carbon atoms. When you, when you rotate the molecule 180 degree, all the hydrogen atoms which were pointing in upward direction come to the down. Even though we rotated this molecule 180 degree, the cis and the trans relationship will not change okay let us clearly see that these are the six axial hydrogens three axial hydrogens are pointing vertically upwards and three axial hydrogens are pointing vertically downwards let us also see these equatorial hydrogens three of the equatorial hydrogens are pointing downwards and three of the equatorial hydrogens are pointing in upwards but all the equatorial hydrogens are in the horizontal fashion all the axial hydrogens are in vertical manner. They can either be upwards or downwards. All the equatorial hydrogens are in the horizontal fashion, but they can either be in slightly upward fashion or they can either be in the slightly downward fashion. Let us see the relationship between two hydrogens. Let us take these two carbon atoms. This is pointing upwards and this is also pointing upwards. So these two are in the cis relationship. And when we take these and this these two are also pointing downwards so these both red hydrogens are in the cis relationship so cis relationship means when two hydrogens or substituents face in the same direction that is called a cis now the relationship between this hydrogen and this hydrogen is trans because 
this blue hydrogen is facing upwards and this red hydrogen is facing downwards so these both are in the trans relationship and let us consider the relationship between this blue hydrogen and this red hydrogen these are in the trans relationship because this blue hydrogen is pointing upwards and this red hydrogen is pointing downwards so these are in the trans relationship let us check this also the relationship between these blue hydrogens or cis and the relation between these two red hydrogens or cis and there's a trans relationship between this blue hydrogen and this red hydrogen also there is a trans relationship between this blue hydrogen and this red hydrogen so that's all so that's all for the axial and equatorial hydrogens and cis trans hydrogens thank you for watching if you like this video give a like and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching